Hey everyone, it's Justine and welcome to a new video tutorial. Today I'm going to be using stencils in a couple different ways that I don't normally do. So I'm using this stencil to emboss. Now I'm using the Mega Hydrangea stencil from Altenew, which is brand new. And don't forget to check out my blog and go and leave a comment on there as I'm giving away a $30 gift certificate to Altenew that you could maybe spend on the new release. So to get started, I'm using a Gemini Junior. So I'm starting off with my clear cutting plate, followed by the plastic shim. Then my stencil goes in and the cardstock on top of that that I want to emboss, followed by the rubber mat that I'm going to place carefully on top, and then the next cutting plate. Now don't forget you could also attach your cardstock to the stencil with some washi tape in case you're a bit scared of that moving. And I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine here and it's going to actually emboss instead of cut. And that looks really really beautiful. I love the subtleness of it on white. The other technique that I wanted to do, I'm using the Aztec motif stencil and I'm going to be using some gold glitter plate paste on top of it. This is from Nuvo and I'm just going to spread it like I would peanut butter on bread. So a nice thin layer over top but a thick enough layer that it would go fill up the stencil hole itself. So I'm just spreading it evenly over with a palette knife here, making sure to get all the little crevices in here and then I just go over to get any excess texture paste or the glitter paste off because if it's too thick it's just going to keep taking or it's going to take a really long time to dry and there's no sense in wasting paste if you don't have to and you can put all the remaining paste there from on top back into the jar if you need to. Now comes the fun part where you get to remove the stencil and then I'm just going to leave it to dry. I find that glitter paste doesn't take too long to dry. I usually let it sit for about a half an hour to an hour and then it's completely dry or I'll let it sit overnight if I have that kind of time. And I just think this is such a stunning background in gold. It really does remind me of an Aztec era with the just beautiful gold color and the glitter. And I'm just going to set that off to the side to dry. Next up I'm going to use one of my favorite dies from Altenew. It says thinking of you and I really love that it takes up a lot of real estate on your card. It makes it a focal point. So I have that very subtle embossed background. Now I need something of a wow factor for my card. So I die cut this in gold cardstock as well as black cardstock. And I'm actually going to put the gold underneath the black and I'm going to give it sort of, uh, I'm going to mount it slightly off center so that you see gold underneath the black. I think that's going to look really classy, really beautiful. Again, that elegant background and it doesn't take away from the background but it does have a stunning focal point that draws in your eye. Now I just have to go in and put the dots on top of the eyes so cross my t's dot my eyes if you want to say that and I'm just going to use a tweezer here just to get that in the right spot instead of having to finick around with it with my hands and that's the end of my first card super quick and easy. For this one here I am just going to stamp a sentiment. Altenew has my favorite sentiments I think from any company. They're very well thought out. They can be quite long but they really just have that personal effect. So true friends are never apart maybe in distance but never in heart and I just love both of those just very bold statements. Next up, I'm just going to grab my Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive and I'm going to glue these onto my card bases so that they have a nice white frame around them and it just finishes off the card really well as well as makes that thinking of you not really fall too far off the card. And that's the end of today's video tutorial, a super quick and easy one. So don't forget to hop on over to my blog. Video description is below. I'm giving away $30 to Altenew as well as there are six $50 gift certificates up for grabs as well for the blog hop and tons of inspiration using this release. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as a suggested video there if you want to continue watching. Have a great day. Bye.